Hey guys, welcome to the spa. I'm Sydney and I'm going to be giving Nicole a facial today. Um, today we're going to be doing a double cleanse and exfoliation. Okay, I'm going to start with pre-cleanse. So today I'm using the Dermalogica skincare line. It is the, right now I'm using the pre-cleanse. Um, I love it for removing makeup and also it's really good to um, get deep into the pores and move impurities so that you can add your cleanser afterwards and get a really good clean. And you're always gonna wanna try to get it all over the face, especially where you wear makeup. With this pre-cleanse, you want to put it on dry first. And then what I usually do is I get my hands wet and then I go back over with it and it gets, you'll see that it gets a little soapy. Okay, so I'm gonna add water to my hands. Right here when I'm rubbing the temples, it relieves um, tension in your head and it's very calming. Okay, and you're always gonna wanna remember to get your neck really, really good. Okay, and then the last time you're going to want to do six on each cheek. And what I like to do at home when I'm cleaning my face is I get into the nose really well, especially because oil and dirt can um, get clogged there. Okay, now we are gonna do the double cleanse with special cleansing gel.
So a double cleanse is used primarily to remove makeup. So you'll use one different kind of cleanser for that. And then the second cleanser, I usually use a medicated one, um, something that has salicylic acid in it so that um, your pores are already open, unclogged, and the um, product can um, absorb more into the skin. Remember to get inside, not inside the nose, but on the side of the nose. Really good. circle around the eyes. You're not wanting to get too close to under eyes because that skin is fragile and it doesn't need as much of a harsh product that we're using right now. So I'm going to get a hot towel. Feel okay? Okay. Perfect. So I'm washing off the double cleanse with a heated towel because next we're doing exfoliation and the heat allows your pores to open up more. So this just is an easier setup for a really good exfoliation. When you're removing face products, you want to make sure that you are getting everywhere because even if you didn't put it in a certain area, like down here by the ear and on the side of the face, um, it always drips, so you want to make sure it's clean and dry. Okay, okay I'm going to be using daily micro microfoliant today. bit into a bowl and you don't want a lot of powder at all. You just want a tiny bit of water. Then you're going to take a fan brush and you're going to mix it together really well. It looks a little foamy when it's mixed together. So once it looks foamy, you're lightly just going to um, upward strokes with the brush and outward.
And if you are prone to blackheads or um, acne at all, you are probably going to want to exfoliate your nose a little extra. Just light circles. And then if you put it on the skin and it still feels a little grainy, just add some water to your hands. And this exfoliation doesn't foam up as much as others would, so it's okay that it doesn't get soapy. Okay, and then it also has an enzyme in it, so we're going to have to let it sit for a moment. I always like to add pressure with the hot towels, just as a comfort, it makes them feel better. When you're removing this exfoliator, it has some beads in it that like to stick to the skin or hide in your hair, so you have to make sure that you get it all off. And again, that's super easy to do with um, a warm towel, um, a wet warm towel, it's a lot easier. See over here, they like to stay by the ear. You're gonna wanna make sure you get that all cleaned up. Okay, after exfoliation, I like to add just a little bit of moisturizer so that the skin doesn't get too dried out. So I'm using Active Moist by Dermalogica, and you're gonna wanna. Make it a more. You wanna get a pretty good amount on your hands. And then same thing, um, up their neck, up and out on the face, down the nose, and across the forehead. And then you're just gonna want to. And circular motions is the best way to get your moisturizer to um, really soak into your skin. And here I'm still finding more beads. So let's see what we can do. 
If you're having difficulty removing the beads, just get a dry SD wipe or um, a cotton towel, something soft, a, a paper towel, something soft um, that won't scratch your skin. go over it one more time with moisturizer facial I like to do circular motions on the temples it relieves stress makes you feel better super relaxing okay I'm just gonna want to make sure do one last check. When applying your, applying your moisturizer, what I like to do is do little circles with your fingers around the eye, the bottom of the eye. So you're just making little S shapes. You want to do that to the same thing to the other eye. If you want to do some on the forehead, that works as well. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Um, we did the double cleanse and exfoliation today. So our next video is going to be our SD Max Hydro Jelly Mask and um, a facial massage. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.